everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. As some of you may be going back to school and some of you may be starting high school, I thought today would be a great, great, great opportunity to do a video like this. So a tips for year sevens, advice, starting high school, all that sort of stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, can you please pass blah, 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 blah. And as always, can you please smash a thumbs up as it would mean a lot. So I'm going to get right into it. So I've separated these topics into five different sections. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is attitude. Always smile and always look happy and be happy. I think if you look happy, then people will approach you. And if you're kind to everyone, everyone will have a positive attitude and will like you as a person. So I definitely say that. Be nice and respect teachers. Now, this is something I always stand for because teachers deserve respect, in my opinion. Although they can get annoying sometimes, it's always good to show respect towards them and be nice. They're also humans and they probably don't really want to be in school as much as you don't want to be. So you may as well make life easier for them. Good attitude and positive attitude. Now, if you walk into school with a positive and good attitude, then life is going to be so much easier and you're going to want to go to school more, you're going to have more motivation and you're probably going to work harder. And be yourself. Ignore haters that will say different about you or if you get bullied, ignore them because if you're being yourself, then your personality will shine through. I can give you that one. So by being yourself, you can have the best of everything. It'd be great. So the next topic is style. You don't need to get a fancy bag. Like you don't need to buy a fancy pencil case with loads of different stuff in. They're only gonna get lost and your bag will probably get ruined. You're at school, yeah, get something that you're gonna be comfortable in. Get a bag that you like, but I wouldn't spend loads of money on it. Um, I know when I was starting high school, we had this little list and on the list it said, can you like bring dictionaries and all that sort of stuff so obviously before i started high school i bought loads of dictionaries i bought a calculator i needed the calculator did i hell need a welsh dictionary and then a french dictionary i don't think i used them once like no so get the simple things don't go out of your way to buy too many fancy stuff also within style you don't have to make an effort every day there's me with my no makeup sometimes and messy hair you don't have to pressure yourself to look good every day, you're only at school. Whereas some days I will want to make an effort if I've got time in the mornings and I'll want to look good. But you don't need to make an effort every day. No, you don't have to. It's up to you, really. The next topic is friends. This is very important because your friends are the people that you're going to be spending your whole, whole high school life with. So the first thing is join clubs. By joining clubs, you're gonna make friends and you're gonna meet new people and learn new things, but also it's gonna look good on your CV and it's gonna look like you've actually put effort into doing something and will look good for the teachers. The teachers will think a lot of you by joining their clubs and putting effort in. You'll look very, what's the word? Enthusiastic? No, that's not the word. That'll do. You'll look very enthusiastic by doing so. And also, within friends, talk to everyone. Talk to the people that you see that look nice. You never know. That boy in the corner of the class or that girl that has really long hair or they might be the loveliest person like ever. Like you might be best friends with them in like a year's time. So just speak to everyone. I think you'll feel much happier if you do that because I was always one that spoke to a lot of people and I was very bubbly in school and it definitely showed through. I think. The next topic is work. Work hard and do your homework. Now I can't stress this enough, if you're going to work hard through your high school life from the very beginning, you'll get into a really good habit and by the end of high school you'll come out with loads of good GCSEs. Like just work hard but at the same time don't stress if you maybe get a D in your recent test or get something wrong in your homework like it's only the beginning and you're only going to learn from this so i definitely say work hard it will definitely benefit you also don't worry if you get a detention for a silly thing as long as you behave well and as long as you work hard then that's all that you can ask for a detention doesn't really 
explain you as a person. They're easily done. I remember us getting the class detention in year seven and I cried about it. Just don't stress about it. There's no need and it's honestly not worth your worries if you behave well and you're a good people. Which leads me on to my next topic, which is the last topic, by the way. Stress. Don't worry and stress. Everybody is in the same position as you. Every single person in that class is probably having the same thoughts as you are right now. Scared, worried. There's so many people out there that can help you. Older people in the school. And if you're anyone that is coming up to year seven at my school, I will be there. I will be there if you want to talk to me. I am in six months. Like, Come up to me. I will help you if you've got a problem and you don't really need to worry at all. I remember being in your shoes. I really do. High school is very different to primary school. It really is and there is a big jump but it's not something you need to worry about at all boys you don't need to stress about boys in year seven boys aren't really worth your worries it's like don't go out of your way to try and find a boyfriend if you're gonna find a boyfriend they will come to you and let them come to you don't go out of your way like it can be cute seeing your sounds with boyfriends, but sometimes it can look kind of cringy, but it's all up to you. Like, if you want a boyfriend, go ahead and get a boyfriend, but just don't go out of your way. You've got a lot of time for that in high school. Don't stress about your grades. Now, as I said earlier on, if you get a D in that test and you work really hard, you're gonna get better from it. Don't stress about forgetting your homework once, because it all happens. Don't panic or stress about anything. Little tests, homework, if you try your best, you're only going to get better and it is the beginning I stress that it is actually the beginning year seven is the real beginning so yeah and lastly appreciate your time in year seven and don't you worry I do know what it's like being in year seven you want to be older and you want to be like one of the year 11s and you want to look down on everyone else but you only live once and you only live in that position once. If I could go back to year seven, I really would. I definitely appreciate your time as year sevens. I know that you just want to get older and you want to be at the top of the high school, but you're never going to be a year seven again, so you may as well embrace it. And that is the end of my list. I feel like I filmed this really quickly, but I probably haven't when I look back. I don't know. If you have enjoyed the video and have learnt something new or are buzzing for year seven or are looking forward to starting high school, or just ready to go back to school just give this video a thumbs up or if you have enjoyed it in general <laughs> comment down below any suggestions because i really do take them on board whereas when i want to film i'm pre-filming a lot now so i'm ready to go back to school so when i go back to school i don't have to stress about filming a lot so fill the comment area with loads of comments on suggestions that you want to see me film i will take them on board and subscribe if you're new here subscribe you subscribe because last night i hit 400 subscribers and i'm so so happy about it and i can't explain how grateful i am so excited to see my channel grow um, i'm very grateful so i think that's it i will see you guys on sunday with a new video at 6 p.m don't forget bye